Howdy, hope you're doing good today. I'm doing great. My name is Blake, and I'm here to tell you some Dollar Tree news that might change everything. <laughs> it's pretty important stuff. If you've been a follower of the channel, you hop in on the live streams, you know that the Dollar Trees in my area, that area being Michigan, have shorter hours and they're open less days. They are now closed on Wednesday. And I saw some news today that I think is going to have a pretty serious impact on that. It's an article I saw on barons.com outlining how Dollar Tree is having issues supplying people to work their stores. Uh, and this spills over into other big box stores, Target, Walmart, wherever. We are seeing people leave the job market or not enter the job market after 18 months at home. Uh, and there is a labor shortage. There is supply chain backups. There are so many issues that are going to cause disruptions, both in dollar stores, dollar trees, and Walmarts and grocery stores all around. Uh, it's very difficult to find people to work these in person jobs. And I want to talk about for a little bit how that's going to affect us as resellers as consumers. Here is the article on barons.com. It was published October 15th, 2021. And I want to really highlight, I guess, two or three main things. The first thing, if you're looking for a job and you want to work at a Dollar Tree, October 20th, they are doing a nationwide hiring event. I've talked to managers at Dollar Trees and they've done similar things regionally around here. No one shows up, so we'll see how that works. Uh, the Dollar Tree stock, I'm sure you all know this, you can buy stock in Dollar Tree using an app like Robinhood or, or uh, Weeble. I'll put a link below if you want to do that. I buy tons of Dollar Tree stock whenever I have extra cash. It has risen 11.5% over the past year. Uh, and I think this is because of the changes they're making with Dollar Tree Plus, but also because if we're going into a recession, the cheapies are going to rise to the top, like the auto zones. The dollar generals, the dollar stores, those are all going to do well because people have less money to spend, so they're going to go to these budget options to spend their money. And the third thing I want to bring up is it isn't just Dollar Tree. Target is hiring 100,000 seasonal workers. Amazon's hiring 125,000 seasonal workers. And Walmart is bringing on 20,000 permanent workers. So there is they're trying to hire people, but it seems to be as if they are not having uh, the most success doing so. And if they can't staff their stores, they're already running on skeleton crews. It's going to mean two things. One, less hours to shop at these stores. And two, even further delays in things being stocked. The issues we're seeing on the supply chain side are only going to be magnified uh, because of issues on the labor side. How do you think Dollar Tree fixes this? Is it an issue of pay? How much do they have to pay people to get them to work at these Dollar Trees? How much do you think this will increase the value of certain Dollar Tree items on the secondary market? Because if someone wants item A and it's not at their local store because the supply chain is two weeks behind schedule, they're going to go online to buy it. Certainly there are niche Christmas items. Certainly there are uh, toys, Hot Wheels, things like that that go to certain Dollar Trees that if you are wise and quick, you can make some money on that. Hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Blake. And if you like content like this, please, I encourage you subscribe.